The three of us had a challenge to make the cheapest, simplest, and strongest DIY Brody helmet that pretty much anyone can make from almost any retail store, or even stuff just lying around. Now you may ask, why not just buy a real one? Well the answer is simple, they're expensive, ranging from $100 to $200 online. So someone who's just getting into the hobby and maybe wants a cheap uniform for like Halloween or Airsoft may not have that kind of money to dish out. That prompted us to go to Walmart, find supplies, go home and craft it, and then put it to the test. One of us will be winning this challenge and there are three categories to win. The cheapest helmet, the best looking helmet, and the strongest helmet. Whoever's helmets meets most of these criteria will win the great CT mug. Stick around and we'll find out who can make the cheapest and best DIY Brody helmet from scratch. Are y'all ready to find some stuff? For the Brodies! Bros. We got the gas mask. He, he does not want to get on it. I have an idea. Let's go. Does this look? No. That... Fruitcake. I wanted a metal mixing bowl. I mean... God a Double bless. purpose. Hey. It's this. Dude, that's a cast iron skill at like 20 bucks. Ugh. Collapsible bucket. You want a collapsible bucket. I want a collapsible it's gonna bucket. It's going to look like that on your head. That's why I want paint. So he wants a collapsible bucket for five bucks. It is now Wesley. Oh, he is smart. He also got circular ones. Oh, look at these. They're 98 cents. You can probably get multiple ones and make it thicker. I think he's going to beat you, man. <laughs> oh, you think? <laughs> he's already just two dollars in. Three dollar hand. Three bucks. That's crazy, G. I'm not losing to Wes. Uh, okay, fucking God, I'm actually out of dirt. Dude, he is minute. now angry and does not want to lose to Wesley, so he's upping the stakes. Actually, what if I... That's going to break if you try to bend it at all. It is cheap. It is cheap. I'm going to get this pan. Or is it a pan or a pot? He has a skillet now because he does not want to lose. All right, let's go get the paint and duct tape. So I already have the spray paint at home. It's just we're gonna look at the price of it real quick. So about probably this color. Pretty much this color. Oh, okay. Just the camouflage green. You can either get this darker one or the lighter one. I'd probably go with the darker one. It just looks better, I think. But it's around $4. So $4 for spray paint. And you also have to be like 18 or something. You can't be, you can't be young. Yeah, the vandalism laws. So about four bucks added to everyone for the spray paint. The duct tape is four dollars as well. This is the closest to the color we can get it to a Brody helmet. They used to have a really olive green duct tape but I don't see it anywhere. But this will work. All right so y'all got your helmets ready. Is that what y'all are gonna use? I do yes. believe so. What about you? Are you gonna make one? Yep. It's my turn now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some skinnier tape like this for three dollars. You'll see what I use it for. It'll do for now. Paper and cleaning section. Tin foil wrap. So what's the thickest and best I can get? We want the heavy duty. This is six bucks. This should work, I think. So I'm going with the heavy duty Reynolds wrap. It is seven dollars, by the way. And that's pretty much all I need for my helmet to Actually, go. Actually, two bucks for this. Good. Are you copying me? Just, uh, just a little reinforcement, you know? So he added tin foil as well. He likes my idea, obviously. <laughs> it's a good idea. Which is smart. I feel like durability wise mine's still gonna be heels that's true you can wear in the durability section so i don't know how comfortable it's gonna be if that's all you have though oh it's not let's go ahead and check out right. and get the building thing it's like 30 bucks it's not bad at all 30 bucks baby here are Mavericks items. So what do they all cost? So the duct tape was four dollars. Pot was like six dollars. You paint. need to add the price of paint, so it's like four bucks as well. So in total, fourteen dollars. How exactly are you gonna build this? Mine's actually a lot more of uh, ingenuity to do it. I'm um, gonna take out all of these parts right here, and it's basically just gonna be this round piece right here, and you will see after that. Now, this is Wesley's display. Two bucks, another two dollars, and then three dollars, so that's like uh, four, 11, and like another four, so 15. 15 dollars for Wesley's helmet. How do you plan to build this? Um, that's a surprise. Finally, here is my materials for a DIY Brody helmet. 
you got your six dollar tin foil three dollar tape and then a four dollar spray paint all that's together is like eleven twelve dollars but it's really cheap i think mine's the cheapest so far so we're gonna have to see if my hat is able to work my brody helmet and then we'll all be able to test them so let's get to it all right remember whoever is able to build the cheapest best looking and the strongest helmet is able to win the ct mug are y'all ready yes. yes it's ready he got his hammer let's see what you got maverick hey, God, hey. wesley is doing a very uh, softer more easy approach maverick is doing hardcore all right, while they're out there building their helmets, I'm going to do a very easy and kind of just like stamp-like helmet method like they actually did with the real Brody helmet. This is going to be a lot to fold up. This is pretty much what I'm going to do. It's going to be a lot of metal to get out. So if you wanted to make this probably even stronger, you could go ahead and like compress it every time that you laid out a new layer. Yep, so I've just finished. Look at all the tin foil. All right, as you can see, this is a ton of tin foil just from this $6 little packet but I'm gonna have to try to compress all these layers so I can stamp it. Here's the progress on Mavericks. <laughs> He's been hitting the snot out of his like Come back from that and I flip it. Over. Then I do this. Wesley's now? Uh, so far we, we don't have much. So you cut off the side of the thing. Mm -hmm. Cut off the bottom. But it's a little easier to mold. I have successfully taken off both bits. It kind of hurts to have straight metal on your head. Oh. Layering it a bit in duct tape. Some comfort. God, that's still hard though. What did you use? Metal. Metal to comfort your head. Exactly. Here is a real Brody helmet. And I'm going to try to get this metal into kind of the same shape as Brody helmet. But I'm not going to cheat by using a real Brody helmet. I'm going to try to find a bowl that is similar in width and diameter and stuff so I can stamp it on. Here's a glass bowl that I found that's kind of similar to the Brody helmet and I'm going to have to shape it to this. But I'm going to go ahead and stamp this out and compress it. One of the easiest ways I know and that's just to step on it. That's actually pretty smart. Now I pretty much just have to shape it. Let's yeah. see the progress you have, Maverick. So what I've started to do is put it a little bit more on the edges right here so it kind of elevates it a little bit. Oh yeah, like the real helmets. Yeah, exactly. Starting to turn out like something. It's massive yeah. though. It is a little bit big. How's yours, Weston? Uh, well, we, we got this going on. All right, here is the bowl that I'm using. What? Ooh, this is gonna be hard. If this was a metal bowl, I'd be able to stamp it there, but I have to be kind of careful with it. As you can tell, I got the dent kind of in there, and it sort of looks like something. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut it out. The scissors actually work surprisingly well. There we go. I mean, it's, it's sort of looking like it. Just need to throw some paint on it. God bless. That's what it looks like so far. Let's go check on the others. So what's the progress in yours, Maverick? Uh, just putting off the edges, and then I'm gonna go in for one more round. Uh, what about you, Wesley? I see you got the bow in there. You're making the brim. Yep. Let's it's actually good. starting to take some shape. I mean, it's it's not quite the perfect shape, but uh, you can sort of flatten it out. I'm going to give you guys this helmet so you can kind of use it as a reference to how it should look. Yeah. So on a real Brody helmet, on the end of the brim is kind of where they bent the metal over to kind of keep it from cutting your fingers and just keeping it locked in there. So I'm going to try to replicate that with this helmet and bend this over. It's a little bit difficult to do. If I had pliers, this would be a lot easier, but there's some like really thick parts to this metal. All right. <laughs> now I 
need to make a chin strap for my helmet. I'm going to take a piece of tape, put it on one side, and then I'm going to go all the way across. I need to get the inside real quick. And bam, you got something. <laughs> Does it look good? I think it looks amazing. Okay, it is a little bit slippy, but I think I got an idea. So in theory, if I add some tape to the inside, it might add some grip. Okay. And now I just kind of need to spray paint it, see how it turns out. I just came outside and Maverick is painting his. As you can tell, it looks pretty good. Cut. How's yours, Wesley? Um, well, we got the brim almost complete. It'll work. Wesley is painting his now. We got the three roadies all lined up. We have a new painting method. This spray can is broken. It does not spray, but it still has spray paint. Do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. Yes. Oh, there we go. It actually looks really good. It honestly does. I actually really like it. All right, here is Maverick's helmet. Turn to the side. It's so good, I love it. Oh, turn to the back. I love it. Awesome. Talk about exposure in the back. It's the opposite of a stall helm, dude. It is the opposite. <laughs> How do you feel about your creation? I think it's the best one! We have Wesley's helmet. As you can tell. There is the side profile. It looks kind of like a turtle shell, honestly. But it still looks good. So before we declare the winners, we need to do one last thing, and that is test it, as well as pretty much run with it on to see if it holds up. So let's go ahead and see if they work. We have the helmets lined up. That is mine, Mavericks, and Wesley's. We're gonna have to see who can win the CT mug with the Brody helmet. But first, we need to do the running test. All right, Maverick. <laughs> we gotta do Wesley. Seems to be staying on nice. But Country Tactical was actually in football, Americana. Oh, gosh! Now we got an airsoft trench mace. Nothing. Oh! Mavericks. Nothing at all. Wesley's. That's actually strong. The so mine's okay. probably the weakest. Okay, now it is the airsoft test. Wesley has the airsoft gun and he's gonna shoot them. About 500 FPS. Let's go ahead and shoot shooters. At the hole? At the den. One puncture, but it stopped, I think. We're gonna be shooting it again, Wesley. He has a new CO2 canister, so it's extra punch. Oh, it got stopped by the brim. All right, now shoot mine. Did it ricochet again? It did ricochet. It <laughs> like paint in mine. It actually stopped it for the most part. You can see it kind of dented in. We're gonna do another competition because this one's hard to judge because we all did really well on our helmets. Still if you guys say want, who you want, who you thought won in the comments. Yeah, tell us who you thought won. We couldn't quite decide a winner because it's all really close, but still leave down below who you thought won. Anyways, we decided to save the mug for another challenge. This was my first kind of challenge video, so I learned a lot from it and a lot that I will change in future challenges. I mean, we could do more military related challenges with even more people. I think that would be awesome. And if you guys want to see more videos like that, could we get this video to 1915 likes? I think that would be awesome. Also, if you're new, feel free to subscribe, join the tactical family check out the merch and I'll see you guys in the next one. Catch your tactical out.